We're here in the Diocese of British Columbia in the beautiful city of Victoria asking EFM mentors about their vision for the church in the year 2019. I'd like to see it far more inclusive and far more outgoing. Until we really energize the diaconate and bring it back into its full order, I think we're going to continue to slug along the way we are. I really want to see a revitalized, renewed diaconate, not only in every diocese, but also in every parish. Then we'll be reaching out and, in fact, going out into the world to love and serve our Lord. I think, I think what the church needs to do now is to look at where it is in terms of our modern culture and infrastructure. And I think we are not acknowledging that the general infrastructure has changed and that the uses of the church, many of the things the church used to do, are no longer best done by the church. Things, And if the church in 2019 is going to be different, it's got to think of how it can provide something other but as dynamic and as bonding and as interesting as being committed to a team, as getting to know the people really well and at being healthy. I see it as something that is going to have to change drastically from where it currently is. I, I think the existing structures and organization and even a lot of the message is dying. A quest for meaning and a quest for a real spiritual message is at an all-time high, I think, or certainly as high as it ever was. But all of the usual answers have just failed. So there, I know that uh, there is sort of a, I hate to say grassroots movement, but there seems to be something happening within some of the mainline churches and some of the uh, more, I guess you call uh, less mainline churches, uh, particularly in the States. Uh, and the working title of the idea seems to be the emerging church. And this is, seems to be I think something that probably has the most potential to uh, be the nucleus of what will happen in the church. And something new is coming, we have no idea what it is, but that's what the Holy Spirit usually does. Did it 50 years ago with Vatican II, and he can certainly do it again. <laughs> but. I think the spirit this time around is even less inspired to use the church as an exclusive vehicle. And I think the spirit will be heard much more uh, in the world at large. And, uh, I'd like to see a church where we saw Jesus just as love and a way to God without thinking he was the unique way to God. And also to see God not as a punishing, judgmental being, but as a way of bringing us into the best of ourselves and a way of, of showing us the best that we can be. That's how I'd like to see our church, a way that, that developed that instead of letting us be stuck in traditions, which have their value, but sometimes they, we get stuck in them. That's I would all. like to see the church unified and focusing on um, the uh, gospel message mm -hmm. and that uh, all of us in the church saw every person as a person of value. I don't think I know where the church is going to be in 2019, but um, I guess there's, there's a couple of things about how we get there that would be really important to me. And one would be that we move forward with confidence and trust in God that we're going someplace good. Um, I'm sure the church will be here in 2019, and I hope it looks more wonderful than ever. Um, but I'm sure it will be different than it is now. Um, I hope that we are more integrated and more inclusive, more loving, more open, and just closer together. And I feel that 
there hasn't been a time in the world when Christianity has been so important. It's a very violent, chaotic world right now and I feel that the church, by becoming articulate and intentional, has a huge role to play in bringing peace to the world. I would hope that the church has maybe stepped outside its comfort zone and maybe been more proactive in living out the faith that we're called to live out by Jesus Christ in terms of reaching out to our neighbors and loving one another as, as he loved us. And I don't have all the answers in terms of what that might look like, but it does mean that we need to faithfully care for one church. another. I would like to see the church less rigid, more inclusive. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. He put no caveats on it. So we need to love one another.